Hello everyone and welcome back to Geek News. I am your host, I am Adam, and a very good morning to all of you at the time of this recording. Well, it is official. We've got more details about the 2022 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Masters of the Universe He-Man vs. Skeletor 40th Anniversary 2-Pack. So yes, we've got a 2-Pack. Joneser, you called it. So let's check out the details and let's go ahead and look at the photos below and see what's going on, shall we? So yeah, let's dive right on in this. So as we kind of look down here, let's see what we got. It says, Mattel has released more images and details for the 2022 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Masters of the Universe He-Man vs. Skeletor. So seven inch scale with outstanding vintage detail, die cast weapons and armor. Die cast weapons, cool. 30 points of articulation. Our Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, He-Man vs. Skeletor 40th Anniversary 2-Pack is the ultimate pairing of these opposing good and evil forces. And the Skeletor figure is currently only available in this 2-Pack. So, you can only get the Skeletor in this 2-Pack. Will he become a single later on? We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully that'll be the case. So, it is available at San Diego Comic-Con on July 20th and MattelCreations.com on July 22nd at 9 a.m. PT. So you're gonna have a chance to get it two days later if you didn't get it at San Diego Comic-Con. But good luck and roll the dice because it's gonna sell out in minutes. I guarantee it. But let's go ahead, check out the images and see what they look like, shall we? So right off the bat, here is the packaging, looks freaking cool. So it's got that open book cover type of style. You've got the Masterverse with the Lava Burst, my favorite, absolute favorite Lava Burst going on in the background. So the mightiest battle in the universe. Now I can't read what it says in the center because the writing is so small, but we got the 40th anniversary sticker in the top right. We got He-Man, we got Skeletor's name respectively. Let's go ahead. Now it's kind of interesting inside here. It kind of like has some sort of wooden panel, like a wooden, it's like as if it's a wooden door or something. Kind of cool. So here they are battling one another. This looks pretty badass. We got the die cast weapons. That ax looks so, so good. We got the shield. Look at Skeletor. Looks pretty good, guys. Yep, we've got that traditional arm, thinned arm. It looks really good got that cool harness he's got now he's got an open mouth a little bit of an open mouth going on there okay so he does have the traditional feet I had to really look for a moment because it almost looked like he was wearing boots and then I seen the spikes on each ends I'm like yes he's got the traditional monster feet so that's cool okay so Skeletor and He-Man are only going to have one head so that's interesting to note now I'm looking up here in this corner and I can't make it what the heck this is. What is this little thing that looks like a coin up in the corner? But that's interesting. We got two comics. Cool, two mini comics. We've got sword or we got the axe, sword, shield, havoc staff, two alternate hands. Alright. So that's kind of interesting. And this part pulls down. Okay, I see, I see. So when you pull down the interface, you are going to reveal the two mini comics and the weapons. So that's kind of interesting. And they kind of did a little mess up in this shot because uh, when you see the shot, it looks like He-Man's face is mashed in. So I don't know what wrong went wrong there, but it's still kind of interesting to see all the different types of He-Mans going on here. So that's kind of interesting that they have released over the years, is what I'm assuming this is, because that is the 2000 X on Articulated, right? Looks what that looks like to me, yeah, because that's the vintage one. And there is our new Adventures He-Man. And of course the Netflix He-Man. And the Revelation He-Man, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Same idea with our Skeletor. We got the 2000X one, we've got our, yeah, so that's kind of cool. The new adventures, vintage, revelation, pretty cool. So you can see how the image kind of got cut. And yeah, look at Skeletor's face. So here's the question, is that jaw articulated? Like, are you gonna be able to open that jaw? 
have to look very, very closely at some of the other images to see if you can shut that jar or not. Because if you can't, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting uh, why they decided to go with that. Maybe it is articulated. We'll have to wait and see. But the harness looks really great. Looks really good. Havoc staff, just the way it should. Looks pretty good overall. Um, the belt. Is that the way the vintage one looks? I'm trying to look at my Skeletor from the Origins and it, he's kind of a little bit far away. I can't really tell, but I think it's the same. Got the nice uh, pinless joints. Looks good. Nice green and yellow face. So they opted to go with the red eyeballs on the inside, just like little dots. So some interesting details, so there's a nice shot. He-Man looks like he's going to be jumping down at Skeletor going on there. Got Castle Grayskull in the background. Ooh, um, so which Castle Grayskull is this? Is this Classics Castle Grayskull? Is this just... Uh, digital render or is this a tease to a future Castle Grayskull coming? <laughs> Not really sure. I could be overlooking things here Okay, so there's our He-Man looks pretty good Not too bad. So yeah, it looks like they removed the heavy wash off of him. So it looks like they took that out Well, it looks like he's not gonna have it looks like a pretty good die cast sword going on there um, I, they still opted to do with, now I don't know if it's the lighting, because it almost seems like the hair's a little bit lighter than it was in the last one, because in the, the last ones that we've seen in the single packs, it looks like his hair still had the darker wash on it, but this one actually looks like they actually removed it, or maybe they didn't, it's just the lighting, it's hard to really tell. So there's our Skeletor once again with the open jaw, so yeah, I don't know if this is going to be articulated or not, but I really would like to know. Cause I like to be able to shut that jaw. It's pretty cool. Demon feet going on there. Sash. I assume this is removable. Just looks good. Looks good otherwise. It really does. There's always got to be that one thing somebody doesn't like, right? And that would be mine. Would be the open jaw. <laughs> I guess I could I could survive with it. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, oh, 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 that little thing that I was wondering is the ring. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. You're getting that traditional, like that old school ring, you know, kind of like that one that we got with um, Triclops in the vintage days. Yeah, that's cool. So we get that little ring going on there. So interesting. I did not pick up on that. Cool. Another shot of He-Man. So I think we've gone... No, it just shows that we got a few more images, even though it looks like it's the same photo. Okay, so there's the ring. Close-up shot of the ring. Looks real good. So we got the... I assume this is probably die-cast as well. If this is die-cast, this is freaking cool, man. This is going to be a really interesting piece. Something to um, wear around, and of course, only Moto fans are going to notice this if they see this on your hand. They're going to recognize what this is. So that's pretty cool. Very, very good two pack. Really nice. So there we are. We got a He Man and Skeletor. Once again, a Castle Gray Skull in the background. I'm wondering if that's a little hint or a nod. Wouldn't that be awesome to get a Castle Grayskull in the Masterverse? Okay, so there you have it folks. There is all our photos. Now, it's not saying any of the pricing, but we can check Mattel Creations, but I don't think they're gonna have anything listed just yet. But we can go ahead and check it. Ooh, there's a nice pretty Barbie. We can go ahead and check it out. and see, I don't see, ooh, another pretty Barbie. How you doing? Cool car, that's the car I'm driving. Got some Hot Wheels. Okay, so here we go. This is some Masters of the Universe stuff. Let's click on here, is there anything in there? Nope, just our Snake Mountain from the Constructs, which is kind of cool. Origins Castle Grayskull. So that's new arrivals for Origins. 
we're back, stuff like that. This might be interesting to go through at some point. Um, collectors, there's the Revelation that's coming out, the new show. Don't forget, guys, July 23rd is coming out on Netflix. So, yeah, that's it, folks. So there is no, um, no current information on pricing right at this point that I can see. Uh, even on uh, this site as well because I got two news outlets going on here to see. Um, let me see if there's any prices here. Do, 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 do. Nope. So they're not they're not showing any pricing yet, but the moment I find out what the pricing is, I will do an updated video. You can count on it. So there you have it folks. What do you think? Do you think you're even gonna get a chance to get this? Do you think it'll be sold out in two minutes? You know it's going to. There's no doubt in my mind. Anyway, good luck to everybody to get a hold of this and hopefully everybody gets a chance to get one. So we'll see you guys on the next one. You guys have a good one. Take care. Until next time.